to my spirit this afternoon that every problem that has been behind your own doing, the Lord on this ground today will cause it to fail. <laughs> God is going to rise up on his throne and God is going to reveal himself as Jehovah in the name of Jesus to decree that every problem of your life at the sound of my voice the altar of God will swallow it. Yakaraposka yetanika maruka luta ye maruba luke empra poska yeta. Every problem you are brought here today, the altar of God will swallow. They run into hiding. Everyone that has all of them. Nobody heard their voice any longer. God said to them, Fem, the Lord will shut up the mouth of your adversaries. I said, God will shut up the mouth of your adversaries. In the name of Jesus. God has power in heaven. He has power on the earth. In Mark chapter 2 verse 10. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody here, the Lord said that she said to you that there's going to be a twist in that lawsuit against you. He said there's going to be a... The people that thought that they are going to move you from the law court into prison, he said they will be the one that will end up paying compensation to you. I don't know who that person is, but relax. Just tell yourself, relax. Because all your adversaries, the Lord will shut them up. In Mark chapter 2, verse 10 to 12, Jesus, when you read from verse 1, he saw a man that was sick. And the man was asking him, he said, Lord, please have mercy on me, forgive, forgive me. And Jesus said, okay, your sins are forgiven. And the Bible says that the, the people that sat around, the Pharisees, they said, the reason in their heart, they didn't know that the person that was before them is the one that knows the thoughts of the heart of man before they ever, ever formed together. And the reason in their heart, they said, ah, how, who, who gave this man the audacity to forgive sins on earth? And the Bible says that Jesus, knowing how they reason in their heart, asked them, he said, which one is easier? To say to him, your sins are forgiven? Or to say to him, rise up, pick up your mat and go? He said, but so that you will know that the Son of Man has authority on earth. He turned to the man and said, man, you have provoked me now. What I didn't want to do before. Because I want the whole world to know that I am God. Jehovah that has all the power. I'm going to do it. He said, now rise up. Pick up your mat and go. Now listen to me. Jesus never addressed the problem of that man. No, 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 no. He didn't even care to know what the cause of the bedridden was. He only told the man, rise up. As soon as the giver of life says to him, rise up, the demons on the inside knew that they had, still they had expired. So without Jesus even addressing the problems, the problems all disappeared. There's someone sitting down here. Because of the manifestation of God's power in your life, every problem that you have brought here today, I repeat it again, this altar will swallow it up. I said this altar will swallow it up. I said this altar will swallow it up. Listen to me. Whatever it is that I've tied you down to that spot where you are, by the end of this service, you are walking out of it in the name of Jesus. I said you are walking out of it in the name of Jesus. I said you are walking out of it in the name of Jesus. God's power is sovereign. That's power. I don't know what your own problem is. <laughs> but the God that we serve, like I said, is Jehovah all season. Jehovah all weather. Nothing takes him aback. Nothing takes him by surprise. Do like this. Say, I know. I can say I know. I know. 
that the issues of my life they are too little for God to handle. Therefore, before I leave here this afternoon, everything that I've caused my heart to fear, <laughs> the Lord God Almighty will take it away from me. If you believe it, rise up and shout seven amen. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. This God can reverse the irreversible. It was God that told Isaiah. He said, go to the house of Ezekiah. Go and say to him, Ezekiah, your time is up. Prepare your bed because there's nothing you will do. You will die. And Isaiah went in and told him, he said, Ezekiah, I have a word from the Lord. Thus said the Lord, put your house in order because you surely die. And then he left. As he was going, and he got to the outer court, God said, Isaiah, stop. You will go back again. Isaiah said, there has never been a word you spoke through my mouth that ever fell to the ground. God said, but you are a man. You can't put yourself in the place of God. If I tell you it is A, and I later come to tell you it is B, whatever I declare, because my name is the I am, I operate in the now. So go back to Ezekiah. Go and say to him, Ezekiah, God said I should say to you, you won't die again, no. He said, if I, I should tell you he has added 25 years. Do you know there's somebody hearing me now? There are certain decisions that have been taken against you. Signed and sealed. But I hear God say to my hearing. I say God will cause their minds to change. Because Luke 137 tells us for with God. The irreversible in your life will be reversed. I can't hear you. I said the irreversible will be reversed. They have said to you, well, the promotional exam you sat for, you failed. So no promotion for you again this year. But as surely as the Lord God of heaven sleep, the same people that said to you, no promotion this year, will call you to give you a letter of promotion. In the name of Jesus.